Okay, I got a new setup and we'll see how well this works. I'm back from Jasper and actually getting to look at the Helldivers 2 situation. And wow, did Sony ever crap the bed on this one? Helldivers 2, you know, I, I put out the video saying that Helldivers 2 devs sold out to Sony and they they really did. I, you know, I had someone comment on there saying they're disliking the video because they didn't sell out. Six months ago, they knew the PlayStation Network requirement was coming down the line. Originally, I guess part of the server issues that they were having when the game launched was because nobody could link up their PlayStation Network. So they axed that on day one, right after launch to try and fix their server issues. Well, fast forward to today, now we've got, you need a PlayStation account to be able to play this game. Well, you've already got this unstable situation with the PlayStation Network. You've already got multiple data breaches from the PlayStation Network. You get DDoS attempts uh, where the whole network goes down on Christmas Day years ago. You, these things are continuing to happen. Then you have a PlayStation 5. I, I see a lot of people clamoring, oh, you should just own a PS5 instead of owning a PC. Well, no. Uh, why would I want a PS5? It was when it came out on the market, the scalpers took control, resold the system for one to two thousand dollars each. Um, they shortfalled the uh, system. Well, I, I have to say, it seems very strange that the system is now reaching the end of its life, and all of these other things are coming up with it, and it's been shortfalled in the entirety of the system's lifespan. Suddenly, you can just buy a PlayStation Five. Maybe it's because they, it was artificial. I'm not entirely sure, but it sure there sure is a lot of questions about the PlayStation 5 on how it was it was on the market in the first place. Then there is the next part of all of this, where people are saying, "Oh, you you had no issues signing up for a Microsoft account when you turned on your PC." Well, let's see. We have operating systems. You have the Mac. Uh, what is it? Safari. You have the Linux and you have Windows. What else do we have out there for an operating system? Linux uh, recently had a giant hack happen. Um, Mac isn't good for playing games on, so you have no choice but to go to Windows in the first place. And I'm seeing absolute abysmal things coming down the pipeline in Windows where they're going to have start menu uh, ads in there. Uh, that's something nobody wants. Nobody wants to sign up for these accounts. It took me over two hours to delete the password on Windows 11 on my new laptop. <laughs> I, I, I gotta say, it pissed me right off. It's not something I want to deal with, and that's the same thing with the PlayStation Network. Nobody wants these new signups. Nobody wants all these launchers that are out there. They bog down systems, they slow them down. Every time you launch your PC, you now have a new launcher trying to load up during your start. Yeah, you got to turn it off. And then when you buy on a new site like GOG or Steam and Ubisoft, you have all of these launchers that go through the systems and they're absolutely abysmal. Nobody wants this. People want to play on Steam for a reason because it's the number one marketplace out there for video games. It's the, the third party that people are comfortable with. It's what they want to play on. And requiring a PlayStation Network, well, now you're handing your, your, your data over to Sony who is notorious for absolutely ruining their data centers. <sighs> There's so many problems with that. Helldivers 2. 200,000 negative reviews on top of that within the first 72 hours of these announcements that they knew six months ago that the PlayStation Network requirement was going to be a requirement for this game. Six months ago. Hmm. Did the Helldivers 2 devs actually sell out to Sony? It really does feel that way right now. They seem to have a, a idea that the game is going to be all controlling. You know, ban it in 170 plus countries. Where are the shore shareholders and all this done? The shareholders apparently don't like money anymore. Apparently corporations can just sit there and ban these games by delisting them because the countries can't play them. I, I It's just maddening. It's really maddening to see all of this. And then Ukraine, uh, I'm seeing that you can't uh, play, the, play the game in Ukraine unless you have a PS4 or PS5 because you can't sign up for a PlayStation Network account unless you have those systems in the Ukraine. But 
I don't think that they're really playing that much video games over there, especially in the war-torn situation that they are in. I mean, everything we've seen with Helldivers 2, everyone talked how good this game was. It was a game of the year contender. Then the community managers coming out there and saying that they, they are a woke team. Was this, it, was the game woke? I don't think so. Was the team behind it woke? Do they see an opportunity for, to control the, everything to start injecting a few more things into the game? We'll have to wait to see where that goes. But on top of all of this, we have community managers in their discords now accusing people, saying that they, they sexually assaulted people, um, saying other things, wanting, just getting giddy about the idea of PlayStation Network being easier to ban people. And there is so many details on this Helldivers 2 situation. I just got to get up some sort of video, and that's what this is today. I mean, if you want to play Helldivers 2, go right ahead, buy the game, and play it, but... I don't think you're getting your money back after two hours. The people in those 170 countries that had it delisted, I think they're getting it back. There is some rumors that people are saying the PlayStation Network requirement it ruins it for them, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm seeing conflicting reports on that. I mean, Helldivers 2, it, it was a game I thought I was going to play, but I, apparently I'm glad I stepped back and didn't dive into the Sony hype. Uh, I want to play Stellar Blade, but I don't want to own a PS5. I will wait for it to finally come out on the on the PC, if it ever comes out on the PC. Apparently it was ported over from PC, and when Sony scooped it up. Look at Final Fantasy VII on top of all of this. Final Fantasy VII comes out with a remake. Uh, it comes out on the PS4, PS5. Then the second version of that remake, the Rebirth, comes out exclusively on the PS5. What's the next one going to do? It's going to be out in time for the PS6 at this rate. And so are they going to only launch it on the PS6? They'll probably launch it on the PS5, but then offer a trilogy pack on the PS6. On top of all of that, they, they offered you bonuses if you had it on the PS5 over the PS4 after the fact. Sony notoriously changing the rules. They're coming down like an empire that thinks that they control everything in gaming and they want to control everything in gaming. And they're upset because Microsoft is doing it better. The Xbox just seems to handle games way better than the PS5. That 30 frames versus 60, you, you, you gotta wonder where things are going here. The poor optimization of a lot of games uh, overall. It, where where do we go? Where do you go at this point? You want to play the game, play it on PC. That's why we build PCs. That's why a lot of us enjoy our PCs. You can do so much more like editing this video on a PC. Why in the world do I want to overprice PS5? That's part of the game, I guess. Well, I'm going to sign off here. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you again very soon. This is uh, hopefully the the new setup that I have for on the go. Um, this mic I was hoping would arrive before I went to Jasper. It didn't arrive until I got home. Um, so now I this has more been a test of this to see how things are. Uh, and hopefully very soon I am set for cons and doing interviews and doing a lot more. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day. I will see you again very soon.